gonna make a quick little rant. I ain't do really, I don't really do this shit on this video on my channel. On me on my channel, but I'll make a quick rant. Uh, shit, it's early as fuck in the morning. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, about that. I ain't seen the movie that All Eyes on Me shit, but you know I grew up through that shit. Honestly, I'm just gonna get my quick opinion on it. Uh, and what I've been hearing really. And the whole Tupac shit in general, just from going up through it, not even through the movie. But basically, uh, like I just heard the game, the game being defending that nigga, and then, you know, Fifty Cent said he didn't like the movie and shit. Everyone got their opinion, and that's cool. Everyone they get in, but on some weird shit in Phase on Love, talking about out the blue, Snoop. Could have saved, could have prevented all that shit. Like, what the fuck? That shit was just weird to me. And, uh, talking about it was some gang shit. It low key was kind of on some gang shit. But, you know, Tupac's earlier career, you can hear, you can go back and check his shit. He, he just said cuz a few times in his record. We all know he grew up in New York for a little bit, then moved out to Oakland. Then uh, when he was in Oakland, you know, I never been to Oakland, just passed through one time, but from my understanding, there's a lot of blood niggas out there. Uh, but they not, it's different from LA bloods, you know, but not to get into that shit, because I don't really know how they get down, so I can't really speak on that shit. But, uh, but I don't know, earlier then, he, he was saying cuz though, here and there, and low and shit like that, like a crip. So whatever he, whatever happens, I don't know, uh, in his movies, all that shit, and uh, he go to New York, he fucking with Biggie, and uh, low key, my opinion on that shit, uh, just to touch up real quick, like that's what really got the nigga killed is he over there fucking with Puffy, and Puffy, I, I believe, introduced that nigga to, to Quincy Jones, and niggas kind of, Tupac kind of had his foot in the door a little bit. And you know how them niggas do it. They're like, nigga, if you want to get up to this level, then, like he said a lot of times, Quincy Jones was like, nigga, fuck him in the ass type of shit. And nigga, will, your career blow up. When Tupac fucked up, when the nigga was like, told everybody about it, that's what got his ass killed. If the nigga would have just said no and went on his way, I think the nigga still be alive right now. But Tupac was all against that homo shit. And uh, he told the whole world, you know, when he was talking about Illuminati and all that shit. And he was talking about, you know, like Puff and uh, Quincy Jones. Like, nigga, you want you want you. You going to blow up my career, but you want me to do some homo, some homo acts for it. Like on some Will Smith shit, you know, not to get in off the track, but you notice how Will Smith, you know, guess who who uh produced and all that shit, the Fresh Prince. And if you notice the Fresh Prince, that nigga Will didn't really blow up until after he did that little homo movie and shit. But anyway, back on the pot shit. So he go out there, he get to run in his mouth. That's when uh the nigga get shot up. Right, and uh, you know, Puffy and Big, low key, it might not have nothing to do with Big, but that shit has something to do with Puffy for real. That was a Puffy hit. hit. Then, uh, but then the nigga go to he go to jail. He get they throw the book at the nigga on some on some fugazi shit on on some some over Flanders. Weirdo shit to where I, I forget the whole the story what happened. It's been so long, but you know he they they done ran a train on the bitch, and she turned around and said he raped her, or it was some blow shit like they said he grabbed some girl ass, or well, like they fuck they fuck he grabbed her ass, her ass leave, and then they end up fucking the bitch or something like that. Like I I forget the whole story and shit, but something like that. But anyway, basically, it was, it was like they threw the book at the nigga. So, uh, and that right there told me 
Yeah, that was some old Illuminati shit too. Like that judge and that DA, all the motherfuckers was in on it. That's why the nigga got, you know, then, man, this is where the phase I love shit come in where it's weird. Cause it was like, it wasn't, it was like Daz, Corrupt, Snoop, all them niggas want to, want to pull two pie. Like he just try to blame it on Snoop. But that's some whole weird shit, but. Like Daz, his motherfuckers say, uh. They had the vision and Suge Knight had the money, so they went and snatched him up. You know, but then now Pac on some MOB shit, and you know, if you go know who the MOB niggas is and shit, and, you know, there's some LA talent and shit, Pyro niggas. And to my knowledge, you know, growing up in the 90s, them niggas was like Lewis Park, a click out of Lewis Park, Pyro. In Compton, but I guess now them niggas is they own gang now, but that's some whole other shit. But uh, so Tupac banging that shit though, MOB this, MOB this when he went should. So now, what you go, uh, so he out there now, he got now he got a gang behind him, so he 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 feel like he can top this, but niggas feel to realize like, nigga, even though you got a gang behind you, this nigga got a gang behind you too. And both y'all niggas could just shoot it all, all each other up and everybody be dead. Fuck it. And uh, so basically, motherfucking, you know, Biggie and, and Puff, fuck with niggas from, from, from Cali. And the nigga they fuck with just so having to be like a crip and shit, you know? I'm fucking with the crips. And uh, even when I was in camp, this was back in like 2001, nigga told me, like, yeah, the big homie killed Pop. And I'm like, what the fuck? And later on, he told me everything. He like, yeah, uh, all the whole story to come out and all that shit. But I remember a dude telling me, my bump, my nigga who slept next to me at, up in camp, he was like, yeah, the big homie killed Pop on, on, uh, on some other shit. But it wasn't it was just some old, it was like some gang shit. But you all, everybody know the story. Uh, baby, baby Lane, uh, you know, uh, snatch nigga shit up, whatever. I don't forget what the nigga name was, whatever. And, uh, you know, nigga see that nigga in Vegas. And back then, back in the, in the 90s, niggas from Cali, when there was something big going down in Vegas, niggas used to just shoot out there and go. Ride niggas and shit like that. Because we know niggas out there are going to have some bread. So, nigga would just shoot out there low key on a Vegas trip on a solo or bring a homie with you and go ride niggas and shit. Ride wild ass niggas that just out there, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do they, trying to floss. Niggas from Cali, that was a thing. That was a lick. Niggas would just shoot out to Vegas and go lick niggas and come back home. So, that's, I me mean, personally, that's what I think that nigga was doing in Vegas. And just on some humbug, but low key, <clears throat> the nigga Puff still he got he got the he still got money out there on the nigga Pop head because Pop still running his mouth and shit, you know. Oh, he, you know these niggas is they homo this and homo that. Like he said, he probably gonna get killed for the shit he said, and he did. But I mean, that's that's. It's some crazy shit. So you know, you know, they beat the nigga up in Vegas, and they come back smoking. They, then they, you know, the nigga died. He died really quick after that. To me, that's some old mafia hit shit. The gun, the gunman always gets killed on some mafia shit. Like man, dead man tell no tales. But I don't know. That was just my own personal shit. I ain't seen the movie, but. Growing up on that shit, it was like, I really didn't, personally, I really didn't like that nigga Pop. Just because growing up was on some heat. Once he, it was like, man, you gonna, you gonna run with whoever you around. Whoever you got your back, that's who you gonna run with. But I, you know, I didn't know the nigga personally and shit, but. Watch my video. This is a fitness channel. I just had to get a quick little rant in. Had to get that rant early in the morning because I was watching a whole bunch of fucking motherfuckers' pins and shit like that on this pocket. I said, fuck it, let me chime in.